everybody, my name's John and welcome to my channel. I have a fun leather project for us. I'm going to make a sheath for a belt knife. And for those who are interested, this is the Pathfinder PLSK-1 and it's made by Battle Horse Knives. And it is a workhorse of a blade. The leather. The leather I'm using is an 8 ounce bench tan that I get from Candy Leather. Now I'm just a hobbyist. I dabble in leather craft. But if you're new to leather craft and you want to make a sheath of your own, just follow this video. I'm going to take you through all the steps. I'll make a pattern all the way to the final finish. About the tools I'll be using. Check out my video right here to learn more about the specialty tools. Here we go. So stay with me and we'll get started. I start with a temporary pattern. I fold the sheet of paper in half and trace the contour of the blade and handle. I add one inch for the welt. Connect the dots and cut out with a pair of scissors. I'm using a manila folder for the permanent pattern. I sketch out the one inch wide belt loop. I mark the center, which will come into play later. Finally, I cut out the pattern and label it for future reference. I'm using an 8 ounce vegetable tan leather with good grain and flesh sides. Notice I wrote flesh side and right hand on the pattern. I'll match the pattern to the grain side of the leather for the right handed sheet. If you're left handed, just flip the pattern. I trace the pattern onto the grain side. I first make all the straight cuts using a utility knife and straight edge. For the curve cuts, I use a pair of heavy duty leather shears. I nip the corners of the belt loop with a rotary hole punch, which prevents the leather from tearing over time. The center line from the pattern comes into play now. Trace this onto the flesh side. Use a V-gouge to remove some of the leather, which lets it bend much easier for a nicer fit. I edge bevel everything but the welt side, which comes later. Notice I edge bevel both grain and flesh sides. I wrap the knife using plastic wrap to protect it from rusting while wet forming. I submerge the leather into warm water for about two to three minutes or until I stop seeing air bubbles.
shake off any excess water. Form the leather around the knife blade and handle. Take your time, this part is important. You want the leather to fit your knife. You don't have to be in a hurry. Work the leather until you're satisfied. Clamp it off and set aside to dry. I normally let it dry overnight. After it dries, the leather will be stiff and you'll have a good fit for your blade and handle. I'll fit the belt loop and mark for the first row of stitch holes. I pound in the holes using a diamond chisel. I'll trim the excess. Then I'll nip, edge bevel, and round the corners. I'm using an awl to transfer the four corners of the stitch holes onto the main body of the sheath. And then I'll chisel the holes for a perfect fit. I'm using a freehand stitching groover so the stitches will be below or even with the leather surface. This prevents the stitches from wearing out over time as you take your knife in and out of the sheath. Next, I'll cut a one inch welt. I then fit and outline the welt. I'm ready to apply the first coat of dye. I'll dye everything except for the surfaces that will receive glue. Then I'll set aside to dry. I'm using a water-based leather weld to glue the welt. Cleanup is easy since you only need water. I'm just going to glue one side.
I'll pound it down with a flathead hammer. Clamp it off and let it dry for a little while. I'll sew on the belt loop using a saddle stitch. I'm double stitching so I'll go around it twice. Now I'm ready to finish the weld. I'll brush on the adhesive. Pound it down. Clean up any excess with a wet paper towel set aside to dry overnight. After drying, I sand the welt nice and smooth using my Dremel workstation. Next, I'll cut out for two rows of stitches using a stitching groover. Notice this is done on the belt loop side. An overstitch wheel is used to lay out the spacing. I'll go back over with an awl, which makes it easier to see on the drill press. I'll drill each stitch hole plus a larger hole for a rivet using my Dremel workstation. When you drill from the belt loop side, the sheath will lay flat in the drill press. Next, I'll edge bevel both sides. On the front side, I'll stitch groove the two rows. If the drilling wasn't exactly straight, you may have to freehand. I use water and a wood slicker to burnish the welt butter smooth. I'm ready for the final coat of dye. I'll do one side and let it dry a bit, and then I'll come back and finish the other. I'll let it thoroughly dry before continuing with the build. A saddle stitch is used on the weld. When I get to the end, I'll backstitch three or four stitches and tie it off. I'm using a cap rivet which provides extra strength.
Next, I'll buff the sheet using a wool buffer. The last coat will be a satin sheen, which makes it somewhat water resistant. I'll let it dry for a few hours. And finally, I'll give it one more buff. And there you have it, a nice fitting sheath that should last a lifetime. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to me, hit that bell so you'll get notified on my next video. Thank you for watching.